will start by warming up our hands and wrists. From the sitting position, watch what I am doing and rotate your wrists in both directions. It is essential to warm up before exercising in order to prepare the body for effort. Warming up should take at least five minutes and consist of low intensity exercises that only slightly speed up your breathing without leaving you out of breath. We will continue with neck rotations. Turn to the left, then return to the center. Tilt your head slightly down and forward as if you were nodding hello to someone and then turn it to the right. We recommend that you start using the purse lip breathing technique right now and throughout the exercise session. There is one repetition left. Focus on your posture and keep your back straight. Let's move on to backward shoulder rotations. Breathe in while lifting your shoulders backwards and exhale to bring them back forward. Perform four repetitions. Don't exert yourself too much and stay within the blue zone of the Borg scale, which corresponds to an intensity of one to two. The Borg scale was introduced in the safety instructions section. Now let's open the rib cage. Breathe in and extend your arms far back and then wrap your arms around yourself when you exhale. Breathe in, expand your rib cage and then exhale. Remember to keep your lips pursed. There are two repetitions left. We will now perform side stretches. Raise your right hand as high as possible toward the ceiling while breathing in. Now exhale. Perform four repetitions. You should raise your hand as high as possible toward the ceiling without bending your torso. And you should also feel a stretch in that arm. Perform one last repetition. And repeat the exercise on the opposite side. These exercises increase mobility of the rib cage and make breathing easier. You should not compress the opposite side. Your torso must remain stable. Exercises to activate the legs can be performed either sitting down or standing. To get up, breathe in and exhale. Begin by walking on the spot like a soldier. To increase the intensity, you can lift your knees and arms higher. You should breathe slightly faster without feeling out of breath. Take pauses as often as you need. We will now switch from the soldier's march to side steps. Side steps activate muscles of the hips. They also mimic the movements we do when we sweep the floor or when we shovel snow in the winter. Remember that when you use a cane, you have to work your leg muscles harder as they are stronger and have more endurance. Everyday exercises will become easier. When shoveling, 
Remember that your legs should take the load and your back should remain straight without arching. We will now sit down for the next step. Breathe in and out while sitting down. We will conclude with our feet. Lift yourself up on the tip of your toes and then come back down. Perform four repetitions. Very good. And then proceed with ankle rotations. Twist your feet in one direction and then the other. Repeat with the opposite foot. And then the other. Congratulations. Your body is now ready to complete program one or two. Program two is harder. So choose according to your condition. We also recommend that you perform cardiovascular sessions lasting from 15 to 20 minutes every week. Whether you are performing resistance or cardiovascular exercises, it is important that you exercise at the right intensity. Test yourself by checking if you are able to speak at any point of your session. Have a great workout. Chair squats. Chair squats strengthen the hip muscles. They require at least one chair and maybe a second for support. Start by spreading your feet at shoulder's width, straightening your back until your shoulders are in line with your hips, and lifting your hands at shoulder's height. Exhale before you start. Breathe in on the way down and purse your lips when you breathe out. Your buttocks should brush the chair lightly, but don't sit down completely. Keep your back straight at all times. Avoid bending forward. Knees should be in line with the rest of your body and should not bend inward. Look straight ahead. Heels should always be in contact with the ground. wall push-ups. To perform push-ups, we will need a free spot next to a wall. Place your feet at shoulder's width and one arm's length away from the wall. Put your hands slightly lower than your shoulders and further away from each other than shoulder's width. You have to keep your back straight for the duration of the exercise. Suck your stomach in to tense your abdominal muscles. Breathe in while bringing your chest toward the wall and then breathe out. Careful not to arch your back. Do not bend your head toward the wall. Keep your elbows wide and away from your body. They should not be brought inwards, as I am doing right now. You can tiptoe to make this movement easier.
calf raises. To perform calf raises, which strengthen the calves, we will need a chair. Stand up behind the chair with your feet at hips width. Put your fingers on the chair to improve your balance. Breathe in before you begin and breathe out on the way up. Don't push yourself up with your arms. The chair should only be used to help with balance. Be careful not to shift your weight forward. Your torso should remain stable. Seated row. To perform seated rows, we will need a chair and a resistance band. Sit down at the front of the chair with your back straight and slightly tilted forward. Put one end of the resistance band under your feet and the other in your hands, still keeping your back straight. Exhale before you begin and then breathe in while pulling your elbows as far back as possible and expanding your chest. Keep your shoulders low. And be careful not to move your back should remain straight throughout the exercise. Your forearms should become an extension of the resistance band. Shoulder press. To perform this exercise that strengthens the shoulder muscles, you will need a chair and dumbbells. Remember that dumbbells can be substituted with household items, such as a water bottle. To change the load, you can add sand in the bottle. Sit down comfortably with your back against a chair, keep your back straight and lift the weight up to your shoulder. Exhale before you start, and then breathe in while pushing your hand up toward the ceiling. If you experience pain, you can perform this exercise without weights. If the pain persists, stop the exercise and consult a healthcare professional. Be careful not to arch your back at any point of the movement. Also, do not bend your torso sideways. We have completed 10 repetitions. Because we have two arms, you have to repeat the same thing on the opposite side. It's your turn now. In our daily activities, we should exhale during any effort, except when our arms are over our head. For example, if you want to grab a cereal box on the last shelf of your pantry, you should breathe in when reaching for it and breathe out on the way down.
Standing Leg Curl. Standing leg curls strengthen the muscles of the hamstrings. To perform this exercise, you will need a chair. Stand up behind the chair with your feet at a hips width and your fingers on the chair to maintain your balance. Keep your back straight, your shoulders in line with your hips, and pull in your stomach. Before you start, breathe in, shift your weight on one leg, and lift one foot while maintaining your balance. Exhale while raising your heel toward your buttock. Your torso should not move or bend during the exercise. Your knee should always point towards the floor. Make sure you don't move your knee forward. Always maintain the same distance between your thighs. We have performed 10 repetitions. Repeat the exercise with the opposite leg. Remember to always breathe through pursed lips. If the exercise is too easy, you can use ankle weights to increase the difficulty. Biceps. To strengthen the biceps, you will need a chair and dumbbells. Dumbbells can be substituted with canned food or a water bottle. Before you start, sit with your back pushed straight against the chair and your arms hanging at the side of your body, palms facing toward the front. Breathe in and then exhale through pursed lips while raising your hands up to your shoulders. Avoid moving your elbows and always keep them close to the sides of your body. Keep your shoulders low and your torso straight throughout the exercise. Careful not to bend your wrists while performing the exercise. Let's complete 10 repetitions. Calves. To stretch the calf muscle located behind the leg and under the knee, you will need a chair. Stand behind the chair with your fingers on the backrest for support. Take one step backward. The heel of the rear foot must touch the ground at all times with your leg extended and your weight shifted forward. Hold the position with both feet pointing forward for 30 seconds. Take deep breaths while you stretch. Switch legs. Take one step back, extend your leg, and shift your weight forward. Stretching releases tension that builds up in the muscles, increases mobility, flexibility and reduces risks of injury. Remember to breathe.
Let's move on to the next exercise. Hip flexors, quadriceps, and psoas. For this exercise, you will need a chair. Stand beside the chair with your hands against the backrest for support. Put one knee on the chair and move your leg forward. Keep your torso straight and your stomach in. Never arch your back and do not hold your breath during the 30 seconds. Breathe freely. Switch legs. Move to the opposite side of the chair. Still using the backrest for support, put your other knee on the chair. Step forward with the leg that is still touching the ground. Remember to breathe, to keep your back straight and stomach pulled in. You should feel a stretch in the front of the hip of the leg on the chair. If you can't feel it, you can grab your foot like this. Be careful not to arch your back. You can now put both feet back on the ground. The exercise is over. Hamstrings. To stretch the hamstrings, which are located at the back of the thigh, sit at the front of your chair. Keep your back straight and slightly bent forward. Stretch one leg forward and keep a slight bend in your knee. Put both hands on the opposite leg for support and lean forward without bending your back. Breathe. You should feel the stretch in the back of your leg. Keep your back straight. You can pull up your toes if you don't feel any stretch. Switch legs. Still with your back straight and torso slightly tilted forward, stretch the other leg forward with your knee slightly bent and hold the position for 30 seconds. You can pull up your toes to make the exercise more effective. The exercise is over. Side stretches. Side stretches work the area located between the shoulder and pelvis. To perform this exercise, sit at the front of your chair and raise your arm toward the ceiling as if you were trying to grow taller. Do not bend your torso to the side to compress the opposite side. Remain straight and tall. Do not hold your breath. Change sides. You should feel a stretch on the lateral side of your outstretched arm. Don't compress the opposite side and be careful not to arch your back. Stay tall and keep your abdominal muscles pulled in.
Now we have completed this exercise. Let's move on to the next. Pectorals. We will now stretch the pectorals located at the front of the rib cage. To do so, move your arms far back while expanding your chest. Always remain straight. Be careful not to hold your breath. If you are able to, join your hands together. Always remain straight and do not arch your back. And breathe for 30 seconds. The stretch is now complete. Upper trapezius. To stretch the upper trapezius, which is located at the base of the neck and top of the shoulder, we need to sit on a chair. Begin by depressing your right shoulder towards the floor. Stretch your head away from your shoulder by bending it to the opposite side. You should feel a stretch in your muscles. Tuck in your chin to increase the effectiveness. And remember to breathe. Just as for any stretching exercise, you must hold the position for 30 seconds. Switch sides. Depress your left shoulder toward the floor. Tilt your head to the opposite side and tuck in your chin. Be careful not to rotate your head to the right while tucking in your chin. Always look straight ahead. Hold the position for 30 seconds. And then move on to the last flexibility exercise. Rear deltoids. To stretch the rear deltoids, put one arm in front of you. Grab it with your opposite arm and pull it close to the body. Depress your shoulder to better feel the stretch at the rear of your shoulder. Hold the position for 30 seconds. Think of your posture and stand tall. Switch sides. Still keeping your back straight, reach forward with your other arm, and then pull it close to your body while depressing your shoulder. Remember to breathe through pursed lips. Congratulations! You have completed your flexibility exercises and your workout. Remember that you can stretch every day. On the other hand, resistance exercises require a rest period of 48 hours between sessions. We now encourage you to watch the health clips on COPD.